Epilogue Dr. Haskins Why did Raven's little friend want to know about the Murphy fire? Did she know the truth about my connection to it? How much did she know? I was smart enough to know that she was no journalist. She certainly was an editor material. She would be lucky if she graduated high school based on the self-discipline and stability the girl had shown over the years. What were they hiding? And why were they hiding it? Raven's ability to lie was unsettling. I couldn't tell if she never lied or if she was always lying. No matter what, her demeanor stayed the same. She was a master of deception. As she got older, she got smarter and more resourceful. It made taking care of her incredibly difficult. I had to work even harder to keep her safe. I wanted and needed her blind trust. I couldn't tell her the truth about why. I was her father, after all. I didn't have to tell her the truth. Parents lie to their children all the time to protect them, right? That's all I was doing. It wasn't selfish. It was sacrificial. Only when I was sure that the ring in the mail had no magical properties did I pass it over to Raven. Even then, it was difficult for me to do it. It seemed like an odd coincidence that a ring would come in the mail for Brooke right after her request, and that I found a ring in the Murphy fire. It wasn't the same ring, of course. The ring I found had a large oval red gemstone on it, and it most certainly did have magical properties. I had seen them work before. Years ago, I had watched as a young boy gain the ability to turn invisible by a simple wish from his grandmother. It was powerful. Probably too powerful. Brooke was definitely looking for more than a random story, and if she dug too deep, she was likely to find it. I caught her there scoping out the place right after we spoke that day, speeding away as soon as I pulled up. She wasn't going to let it go and leave it all in the past like I told her to. What if she found out about the ring? About the book? What if she found out about Raven? I took the ring out of the safe and slipped it on my finger. I usually avoided wearing it to make sure that my wish wasn't wasted on something trivial, but I had been training for it for years. I knew not to make a wish on accident, and keeping the ring on made me feel like I could keep it safe better, especially if there was a chance that other people might find out about it. The book, on the other hand, was much more difficult to protect. I kept it in the safe hidden in my workshop at all times. Even though my lab was guarded by a thick metal door and a keypad-activated deadbolt, I didn't even trust leaving it out on the table when I wasn't using it. A spellbook that powerful needed to be hidden. Power in the wrong hands is dangerous. I had already proven that by my own mixtures of science and magic. My own hands had been stained red by the consequences of magic gone wrong. I sank on my metal bar stool, terror gripping me. What if Raven found out what I did? Would she ever forgive me? Even worse, what if the wrong person found out about her?